Hey guys, this is Mike Austin. Today we're going to be talking about a little not so well known thing called atmospheric perspective. And um, basically, I want to show you guys exactly how this works, you know, how I can make it easier for you guys to produce this in your illustrated artwork. Okay, I have a little diagram here of exactly what I'm going to be talking about. Basically, over here we have this object. We're going to call this object little blobby guy here. And I have these teched up in a way that kind of shows you a little bit of what I'm going to be doing right now. Okay, first off, we're going to have a thing here called atmosphere. Now, atmosphere is just any kind of air or just, you know, cloud coverage that comes in through the picture. And it's going to be going in front of, like in front of your face when you're outside, you can't see it because it's so close to you, but from far away you can. We're living in a world that has a lot of different layers of atmosphere. The closer you are to it, the less you see it. That's why you can't see it in front of you. Think about it as basically fog, a dim, dim fog in front of your picture. Okay. Now, this blob right here, I'm touching. Let me put a little arrow here for him. This one right here. He has um, only one. If you're if you're viewing it right here, you're the viewer. And put a little V here for viewer you can see this image here has just a little bit of atmosphere in front of it so I'm gonna kind of bring this down maybe to about maybe 10% you only can see a little bit of that film there okay but see as you get further away from it that film grows a lot more in its opacity so we're gonna take that 10% and we're gonna add that maybe 30% here so in this one you see a lot more of the blue coming through and this one's gonna be a lot thicker because it's far away from you or a lot more opacity you're gonna see this actually at maybe 70 percent from far away if it's a really really dense thing and it's far far away from you okay this is a really extreme example of what I'm talking about here but basically it, the, the closer you are to it the less atmosphere it appears to have okay now we're gonna do this more in kind of a as if you're viewing it straight ahead like this I'm gonna Get my brush tool out here where you are viewing it straight ahead and we can see right there in our you know our horizon lines right there so we're gonna go ahead and move forward from there okay now basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take I'm gonna lock this layer here have my have my at my layers here for atmosphere my object and my background here okay so I'm gonna lock this layer right here now what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna group these together really quick go Command G, it's grouped. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a cop. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna make. A, I'm gonna bring this out here really quick. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of this. Now, when you're working with atmospheric perspective, the darkest one is always gonna be the furthest away from you. So I always work with the farthest one first. So I darken that up a little bit here. Take this, make it about seventy percent. Have that one kind of just sitting there, like that. these are grouped okay now I I copy this one again now you can see when I copy that since actually these I didn't just talk about this before these this atmosphere here is actually on screen the screen layer mode so it's actually dodging up or screening up the colors so as you can see there screen really helps with that now this one's 70% but I'm gonna make this one a lot bigger than all the rest of them okay so now I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy this one again. As you can see, when I copy one, they actually look very, you can start seeing it become really lighter for the most part. I'm going to take this one right here and make this wider. A lot wider there. So you can kind of get more of that feeling a little bit in there. So now you can see when I start bringing them forward, this one goes really, really wide and kind of really unsaturated and as you get closer in you can see more of it so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna make this one a little smaller like so but I'm gonna drop this opacity down a little bit to play with this more now this one right here the biggest one is on 70% but the smallest ones also on 70% but as I showed you here as things get closer to you that the actual atmosphere gets kind of more clear so I'm gonna bring this to like maybe 50% right there. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this one again. 
make it bigger, make it actually smaller in here. But I'm gonna make this wider so I can so you can see that coverage a little bit better. Okay, now that I'm pretty much zoomed in here, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. This one right here, the very closest one, is pretty much the brightest one in here. And as you go down to this one right here, you can see that's a little bit lighter, lighter than this one, lighter, and then you kind of zigzag to this one right here, really, really white, all the way down to this one. It was really almost 100% white there. And that's pretty much atmospheric perspective in a nutshell. So I um, hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, hope you got a lot from it. And thank you very much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.